are 54 dams in the county. The state of California says five, including one in the South Bay, is not up to snuff. We sent 10 News reporter Joe Little to the Sweetwater Reservoir today to ask engineers what it's going to take to make sure that disaster doesn't strike here. Behind me is the historic Sweetwater Dam. It is set to undergo some improvements in the coming years to make sure what happened at Lake Oroville doesn't happen here. But I just spoke to one of the engineers in charge of this dam, and he said it really is safe the way it is now. The original dam was built in 1888. It was upgraded in 1911 and has basically looked the same ever since. So let's go out onto the dam. Michael Garrett is the engineering manager for Sweetwater Authority and the dam. Could Lake Oroville happen here? This is an incredibly different situation. That is an earth dam. This is a concrete dam. The structural integrity of this dam has not changed. It is absolutely a safe dam. The California Division of Safety of Dams disagrees. It recently raised the standards for dams and Sweetwater no longer meets them. Whatever they say, they're the professionals. So the Sweetwater Authority developed a $7.5 million plan to meet those standards. They're going to take the edges of the dam that I'm standing on right now. They're going to add 10 more feet of concrete forcing the water towards the middle. The taller concrete walls here and here will force water away from the hillside and back towards the concrete spillway in the middle. Any water that comes over the dam will only touch concrete. That concrete is the biggest difference between Sweetwater and Oroville, which is made of dirt and mud. Garrett says the concrete won't wash away like this, especially when they add even more. On the Sweetwater Dam, Joe Little, 10 News. So the four other dams falling short of California's new higher standards are El Capitan, Lake Hodges, Marina, and Lake Wolford. That is in no particular order, and it is according to the Division of Safety. Be sure to stay with 10 News for continuing coverage. We're going to follow all the developments on the story. If there are any major updates, we'll send an alert through our 10 News mobile app.